Hello, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Web Design, and today we are sharing with you some tutorials on how to use the WordPress Adapt theme. And of course, you can get that from uh, wpexplorer.com, and it is a uh, very good, responsive uh, theme for WordPress and rather easy to use, and uh, it is free. Uh, they do have some uh, upgraded features you can get there with that, but we're not using. Uh, those with this project. That's the ADAPT, A-D-A-P-T, WordPress theme. So uh, here we are at our website. First thing I'm going to show you, first tutorial, is, uh, is how to uh, change the front page slideshow. So we're already logged into the back end, and uh, we've gone to theme, and we've gone to theme options. There's some options there that we can choose. Uh, in the general section, you can choose the logo uh, that's at the top. I'll show you here. See, our logo is at the top. Uh, and so here with the options, you choose that and upload it. Uh, also, with the home page, this is where we can, uh, number one, we have the slider enabled. We're not using site description. Um, and also, we have... Uh, um, information just a little bit below that here in the next section with the slider and we've got the slider height the animation is fade and of course there's no direction since it is fade uh, uh, auto slideshow is enabled and the speed is set at 7000 milliseconds all right so let me show you how to um, uh, once we have the uh, the options selected to get the slideshow to work, all we need to do is go to Slides, and you see the list of slides that we have here. And uh, let me click on uh, Dusk at Dark. Uh, the text that is um, at the bottom of the slide, let me show you here. Uh, House at Dusk. I've got question marks there from doing an experiment just a second ago. Here the next one, Keeping, Room, Table, and Fireplace. Um, you just put that right here where you would normally put your text. So you just um, uh, have a slide. It's got uh, a title here. And whatever you put in this text section is what's going to appear at the bottom there of the slide. Uh, let's go back to slides. Let's look at another one. Uh, let's go to the next one. Look at it. And uh, basically the same thing. Uh, you've got the information here. Now here is where you put the image that actually appears. Uh, it is the featured image. And um, I'll just go on and remove that featured image for just a moment. And uh, so let's say I'm setting this up. I would just click on set feature image. And I would click on the image. Come over here and make sure it is the right image. And that one is not, by the way, uh, let's see here. We're going to have to go on down through here. I should have looked at this. Here it is. Uh, and I, I look at the name, visual, of course, and I look at the size. Uh, we're using 900 by 400 uh, because we don't want the pictures to be any larger than they have to be. It'll slow down our website if we do that. Uh, so these images have been optimized for exactly what we want in the slider. Click Set Featured Image and you see that it is there and click update and it'll take just a second to do that and it's running a little slow because I'm recording a video alright so let's go look at one more so let's go down to the next one and let's say that I wanted to change the text that was at the bottom of the picture all I would do is change it right here put anything that I wanted to there I could click update. And then just upload my uh, web page here so we can take a look at that. And we can probably go right over there and see all the question marks there that I put in there. So let's go take those out. And we're going to update that. And now let's go check it. Let's upload. Uh, let's uh, get a new copy of the website here. Let's go over here. 
and you see that the question marks are all gone. Everything's been updated. All right, so let's go back to slides here. And if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to add another slide, I would just click Add New Item. And of course, I could just give it a name and put the uh, text in here, which appears at the uh, bottom. And then come over here, select the image. And again, I want to select an image that is the uh, size that I'm using. And for this, it's 900 by 400. And then I would just say set featured image. And then I would publish this. And after I did that, it would appear in the slideshow. I'm not going to publish that because we don't want that right now. All right, so that's how we get our slideshow on the front page of the uh, WordPress website using the ADAPT theme. Uh, we'll come up with another tutorial here in just a moment, and uh, we're going to show you how to uh, make changes with these bottom boxes. So we'll see you again in just a moment.